Hi everyone, and welcome to today's latest mix-up build videos from Monster Hunter World. Today's set focuses on the new shell and gun line set, where instead of using our shells to do damage and our shields to take up damage, we're going to be going with the opposite and playing with a slightly more aggressive style that uses the gun line's heavy attacks for large, stunning damage. I'll call this set the new shell critical set. The weapon of choice here being used is the Great Jaguar's Gluton Gun Lance 3. For its dual slots, which you get a level 3 and 2 dual slot, the free augmentation slots where you can freely customize your liking and its ability to use a non elemental jewel to bolster its damage even more. The weapon also comes with 437 attack value, which is a strong but not the outright best when compared to the other gun lances with higher raw currently in game. Now, the main selling point of this weapon though is its flexible and generous stats, which, when compared to many other gun lances, offer you a lot of room to play around with and make it even stronger than its current form. The best way to compare this weapon now would be to compare it against the two fallen gun lances for their relatable stats or strengths, such as the Battle Blaster 3 and the Insatiable Gun Lance. The Battle Blaster 3 comes in at 460 attack value, which is 13 more compared to the Jaguar's Gun Lance. Three Org slots are 36, the same as the Jaguar's Gun Lance, but no dual slots to be flexible with. But you do receive plus 15 defense, which is nice but not really that needed, and very similar sharpness. Ideal weapon to use if you want a bit more damage while you melee, but fine with also dealing with the minus 10 affinity that the weapon will also possess. If that's not good enough, then you do have the Insatiable Gun Lance, which is a rarity 7 Gun Lance with 529 attack value, which is 92 more than the Jaguar's Gun Lance. Two Og slots and White Sharpness, which is a 1.45 multiplier for your attack value, and that is pretty strong for a Gun Lance on the zone. However, it can't take a non elementless jewel since it has a dragon element, and it also comes with minus 30 affinity, which means you're going to have to focus on adding enough affinity to negate its minus effect. Except from that, it's still quite a lot of contender for non shelling and pure raw damage, and best to go with if you have to jewels and stream zones to build around it. These alternative weapons are great if you want to focus on non shelling as they provide you the option to do more damage through their additional jewels and og slots but they come with their downsides that may not be feasible for you to build around just of yet depending on how far in endgame you currently are. So this set here will focus on just the Jaguar's Gunland stats and more damage and no shellish build and make full use of adding on crit boost and affinity skills to get the full worth of the weapon. So here are the skills used. Firstly I have stun resistance 3 to aid in preventing me from being stunned at all when I get knocked over too much and critical boost 3 to increase my critical chance damage upon the hits onto the monster. I do for going over 50 affinity as it's basically a damage upgrade upon hits. Next I have critical eye 3 to add on 10% affinity to the build and helps contribute to the critical boost skill once it's active. Then I have weakness exploit 3 to add on 50% affinity upon monster's weak points and there's always a desired skill to have for blade sets. Next I have handicraft 3 to help extend my weapon sharpness by 30% as using the gun lance Although I'm mainly using my melee side of the weapon, I still burn through shot modes fast, as you can combo and move around quickly with this set. So alternatively, you could go with a sharp jewel instead, if you actually have it, as it's already generous in terms of star sharpness. But you have to sacrifice a jewel slot if that's the case. Now remember, as I'm using the Jaguar's gun lance, it doesn't reach white sharpness, the max is blue. So if you don't want to add on handicraft, then a sharp jewel is probably your best choice to go with. And that way then, it actually kind of frees up a bit more room to decide on what charm you want to add on next. Next we have Evade Extender 3 that allows us to move on faster via our back hops and side hops and front hops and so forth. This is replacing our guard free skill, as using this as an alternative will allow you to reposition faster and build up damage quicker without the need of guarding all the time. Now you can still use your guard like normal, but this is something I've always wanted to try out and see how effective it is. And it's pretty damn great as to how fast you can move around with the skill in set. And next we have Maximum Might 3 for the 30% affinity towards our stats and non elemental boost 1, which provides a massive damage boost to our main weapon. When I mean massive damage boost, I mean quite a large boost in damage that is honestly something you don't want to gain power on. Lastly, we have Wide Range 2, which is from the other Nostril Gloves and are useful for supporting ish your team, but rarely of use. And Health Boost 1 for a plus 15 in health, and something I slapped on to further make the set even more safer for the user. Overall, this will give you an attack value of 529, 100 affinity, 
433 defense and probably the most mobile gun I'd set in game that will offer you a large damage when you get the bar flowing. So this set can pull off some great damage as I probably previously said as long as you don't shell but even if you do shell it's still not a problem as the damage is always welcoming even if it's not so high. My damage on monsters vary between 90 plus, 100 plus to 200 plus when I land on their weak points and I also have my critical damage active as doing that on monsters parts can also sometimes land me into the either the 50, 70 or even 100 veins but could probably be higher if we had wipe sharpness in play as with 1.45 multiplier it really will probably bolster our attack to be over 200 plus not anything in the 300 range but around 220 maybe 230 it isn't i can't really say just of yet but the best way for me to actually try out and know is if I, if I go ahead and use the insatiable gun lance and since i currently don't have the stream zones available to upgrade it it's not something i can go ahead and play around with but when i do i'll definitely make a build video around it but anyways it's kind of a tad strange to use this setup for a gun lance as gun lances are more designed around make a full use of their shells which Everyone who plays Gunlance generally knows. While also be capable of dealing damage via their blades, so going with one option rather than both, the weapon is designed around, it feels like you're kind of betraying the core design of it. However, you have to admit that the raw damage you can pull on a monster makes it incredibly powerful against any monster you face. Although slow when doing the wide range swipes and overhead slams, the damage is not something you want to skip out on, especially when you also have the evade extender 3 active, which will allow you to move left, right, back and forth very quickly, as you can currently see in the video. Now this was all done to increase our DPS, as it can reduce our downtime by simply dodging at the right moment rather than block via using our shield all the time. But you're still going to be using your shield every now and then when things don't go as planned. This may be hard for some new users to get used to, as some of you may not be used to not relying on your shield this time around. So don't worry about not being successful at dodging as it's a hit and miss for many, but do practice a bit and try to mix it up via dodging and shielding until you feel comfortable enough to put the shield down and just dodge instead. But like you can currently see in the video as well, I'm not perfect at what I'm doing and I still use my shield every now and then when I know an attack I'm going up against can't be dodged. So don't feel bad that you can't master this technique because it's not something that every player has to know. But once you get comfortable around dodging and not buying the shield, it does open up a kind of different playstyle for you to mess around with. And there you have it, my take on a non-shelling gun lance build that packed a punch and is quite fast in terms of moving around and repositioning yourself when you need to. Pretty flexible if you don't have the following jewels and a great alternative to play with if you look for something else to try out. So if you enjoy the content then do leave a like, a sub and also do press the bell button to stay always updated to when I upload, as I would appreciate a lot if you do. But like always thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.